Hello there and welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm standing up for this intro. I feel like it's just easier to get a lot of energy across than sitting on my chair every video. So I thought I'd switch it up and I have moved my dioramas. If you're interested in any of them, I think they're all on Rebrickable, except for the Dark Trooper one. But I'm upgrading that soon anyway, so I'll just whack the updated instructions. If you want the original ones, I can always add them along with the new ones. However, today we are going to be looking at the official LEGO acrylic display cases and just how you can make the most of your room. I've already given a little tip with switching up the base plates in a previous video, but today we're going to be going all out and basically making it look like my Star Wars minifigure display in an acrylic case, which keeps the dust off it. And that is going to be home for my LEGO Marvel minifigures as far as I can tell. So let's get that to the desk and take a closer look. As you can see, if I were to carefully take the lid off here, I've got a load of minifigures jam-packed into this acrylic display. And I've said before, if you are looking to buy one of these, the red and the blue one were the first ones, which is why I have one of each. But since then, they've released a Hogwarts one, which is just a light tan. And honestly, if you're not fussed about the colours, it's a bit cheaper, so you might as well pick that one up instead. Originally, I got it for a few of the smaller sets, and then it transitioned, as you can see, to hold my entire Marvel collection. But the problem I have is you can't really see anything past the first line in my display behind me i mean you can barely even see the case in any of my intros but if you were to see it you can only see the first row of minifigures perhaps the second simpsons and of course all of the batmen so we're going to be taking a leaf out of the batmen's book as you can see i've sort of teared off each version of batman we've got one hidden behind here that it's probably been added at a later date, but that means we can then see the next figure above them. And I've already arranged my Marvel figures on their pedestals. They definitely look like they're taking a school photo of sorts, but I really do like how this looks compared to the X-Men who are in the old layout. And that's what they used to look like before I added all of the pedestals. And you can probably even see it's probably better to go around the left hand side where there is a bit of a break. But you can see the pedestals I have given them. They're all standing on their right leg and they've all got some tower of one by one. Some of them one by threes, but they're still on their separate platform. So I can just grab one, take it out if I need the minifigures. Now, Rocket does have an extra two plates on his one by one brick. And that is to get in the same height as all of the other minifigures. If we slide him back in there, which is really easy with these three by four panels, because... I just like them more than the 8 by 16 that if you wanted to take that out and perhaps use a figure for something, you could just grab the figure. But really, you're grabbing the whole plate rather than just grabbing the two minifigures on each of the plates. Perhaps I should try and pair these up like I have the Spider-Men or the Captain Americas just on the left. But I can rearrange them another day. There is a minifigure missing, which I'm not too sure what minifigure it is. Actually, I can't see Venom, and that is because Venom is being used on the Venom bike in the LEGO City. If you didn't know, when I reviewed the poly bag, I didn't buy the poly bag, which is why I didn't have access to the actual poly bag itself. I just found out I had enough pieces to make it myself, put it together, and it just saves me buying an additional poly bag, especially when I've already got all of the pieces but i really do like how this display is coming along in a second i will get working on the looney tunes and some of the other minifigures on the top but the main focus was seeing how this would look and i definitely think it's better than before i mean i'd leave a poll in the community tab but i'm sure no one wants their minifigures displayed like this unless you like looking at them from top down but even then you can't see rogue cyclops or the other wolverine's face so it's definitely better to have them like this. Eventually, the X-Men will be joining the Marvel lineup like this. I just wanted to show the difference between what was and what is. And I really do like this improvement. So I am going to work on the top row and then I'll record what that looks like once I'm done. And I've just quickly put together the Looney Tunes to check the height to make sure the minifigures fit before I continue doing the rest. But I realised... Batman is way taller than these, so I could even go a little further, but I really like how they look. Again, it definitely looks like a school photo type of scene, but once I do it to the rest of the minifigures, I think this display case is just going to look so much better than it already did. 
and I've just managed to finish all of the top row here with only five one by twos remaining so I'm very happy I had enough bricks but just look how amazing it now looks with them all tiered up and I will revisit these at some point I am out of one by ones and I could probably even use some of the one by twos just to stack them up a little bit for now but I think this looks amazing and I'm definitely going to keep it like this and going forward just continue all my marble figures I mean some point I probably will need to expand into the top but there's not too many new Marvel minifigures as in new Marvel characters coming out recently and there's definitely some that I should pick a few up of. I definitely like all the Venomized characters so we'll be picking up the Venomized Green Goblin. Venomized Doc Ock is currently in my Lego C but at some point he'll probably make it to a Venomized column of this display so stay tuned and let me know down below what you think of this display i know there are so many different ways of displaying lego figures because i've just done a video on it on all the different ways i display them and someday i would like to get either a big marvel set or build my own marvel mock and include near enough all of them on that because i think that would look awesome as a display sort of what i'm doing now with the disney castle hello there again the video's not quite over yet, but I have actually edited the first half now. The reason I'm back the next day, I'm in the same top to try and keep the continuity. And I've actually already recorded the next video, so it is going to be a good one. But I have improved the display that we were working on. And there are a few minifigures that weren't quite that. And I realised I didn't even show you it on display. There's no way you can get a good angle from where you're viewing. So I'm going to take you over, show you all the little bits I've improved and just wrap up the improved display. So thank you for watching this far into the video. Again, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. And first off, I do have to say just how much better it looks when you're looking at all the minifigures in here as it is really nice so much so that i've actually moved the helmets up just to uncover this display and this is the sort of display that would go really nicely in one of them thinner billy bookcases rather than the ikea calyx units has they're just a bit too deep but the biggest difference is with the looney tunes the martian and the tasmanian devil have been raised by two plates i remember saying something similar for i think it was rocket raccoon i'd raised him by two plates to get him the same height as the others and I hadn't done it with a Martian or Tasmanian Devil. So now I have, and as you can see, they are the same height as Sylvester and Daffy Duck. If you didn't know, this female pig next to Porky is actually called Petunia Pig, and that was the only Looney Tunes I couldn't remember the name of last time. I just think this display looks so much nicer, especially when you come out a bit and look at it with all the other Lego around. Again, I'm still waiting to get the Smith's display case. There is something big I'm still working on. Perhaps not big in terms of Lego display, but big in terms of it's taken up all my time. So I will be getting the Smith's display within, hopefully within April, because I think that would look really nice in the background. And especially if I do stand up for more of my intros, it's just going to look really great. So once again, for the last time in this video, make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more awesome content. May the bricks be with you always.